How do we save Britain? What I think we need to do is we need a Tory party to collapse in flames and we need a newer, more authentic force to rise from the ashes. Hi, my name is Jess and this is Reason. Today we're at the National Conservative Conference asking people how they plan on saving Britain. How can we save Britain? Drastically lower immigration and go with Miriam Cates' plan to incentivise stay-at-home motherhood because otherwise we're not going to be able to conserve the cultural texture of our country if we just treat it like an economic landing zone and import people in. How do we save Britain? Um, I think to save Britain we have to look to family as the first um, key factor in that and uh, sort of branch outwards from there. So starting with the family, first of all the birth rate, uh, second of all how we educate those children and how we provide for them in the future. I think if you start with family is your core idea, um, you can't really fail to go wrong because you're not going to be thinking too much about yourself and more about the state as a whole. How do we save Britain? Uh, I think we need to give a lot more funding and support to uh, hard-working right-wing opinion columnists. How do we save Britain? I think the way you save Britain is by having people actually agree what Britain is. Currently everyone's just like fighting with each other over the sense of history, culture, etc. And we need to have a big discussion where we fight out those ideas because without a sense of community, what you're essentially going to just have is a situation where, let's say you're lonely, you've got no one to speak to. Let's say you need help or support for an idea, you've got no one to go to. The only people you can really end up talking to are sort of these faceless HR managers, which completely sort of breaks apart your sense of the body and the state. The other thing as well is I think we need to be better with our education system. I think most people go to school and then as a result of that they feel like their spirit's been broken because they're constantly studying things they don't see the value in and then when they graduate they don't really actually apply that in, in the real world where they can gain value, where they can gain money. So creating a sense of common mythology for both sort of societal reasons and community but then also to empower people with skills which can help them in life is how we save Britain. How do we save Britain? What I think we need to do is we need a Tory party to collapse in flames and we need a newer, more authentic force to rise from the ashes. Um, because I think that if, we, if in electoral terms we keep rewarding um, mediocrity and managed decline, which is all we've really seen from the Conservative Party since 2010, particularly on the issue of migration, um, then we, we can only, all we can expect is more mediocrity and decline. And to people who say, um, well, that means five years of Keir Starmer, I, I, don't, I don't relish that any more than I suspect you do. Um, but I'd, I'd much rather be in a situation, I, I, I think a situation in which we're being stabbed in the front for five years by Keir Starmer is likely to accelerate the sort of political realignment we want to see in this country far quicker uh, than a situation where the Tory party is basically surreptitiously and silently euthanizing us. What does conservatism mean to you? Conservatism means uh, doing what's best for um, the nation states, the family, um, and preserving your tradition, be that what it may. Um, and I think uh, in, in the West that tradition is um, based on Christian values. Um, I think conservatism can't avoid its, its fundamental core, which is um, a tradition that goes back a long way. Um, and it's not just reactionary thinking, which is what it's been taken to mean in, in, in recent years. Um, I also disagree with the idea that conservatism is a broad church. Um, I believe that conservatism is a synthesis of ideas um, that tends to narrow down rather than broaden. What does conservatism mean to you? At the moment it's a refutation of liberalism because liberalism is the ideological abstraction of the rights of Englishmen tried to import it throughout the world and what has happened there is we've gone with the French conception and said that's destroyed social bonds and so we've got to make the family rather than the individual the primary mode of political authority. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.